hello hello scorpio welcome back to divine destiny guide i hope you're doing well wherever you are happy birthday to you if this is your first time welcome to this channel if if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much scorpio for your love thank you for your support i greatly appreciate you and i don't take your support lightly so we're gonna hear what spirit has to say to us scorpio spirit what do you have what word on time word do you have for scorpio so two cards came out sultan and per four five one more spirit what do you have for scorpio oh, okay. Oh, they're in order. Four, five, six. Ashlon, Ashlon. So, I'll be reading from the book for you, Scorpio, the meaning of these cards. The book says, when this card appears, you are being asked to examine your relationship with authority. Authority figures are those in leadership positions. If it comes up in relation to yourself, it is suggestive of stability and security in life. It symbolizes law, structure, order, stability, financial viability, and a left brain approach. You are being pointed to hard work, discipline, and self-control, and show the importance of setting your own rules and boundaries. The Sultan is about concrete actions and tangible results. Is there an area in your life to which you need to bring the work ethic and dy dynamism of the sultan are you struggling with an authority figure who has not been able to balance their heart and ego how do you temper the fiery energy in you so a sultan is pretty much a leader somebody who is a go-getter it's this card is pretty much saying that you are stable you are financially strong and if you're not, again, thinking about that, you need to start believing this and embracing this. Again, the goat, the greatest of all time. So the Sultan is also looked at as an empire, an emperor as well, who have their affairs in order. So this is power. You have structure, you have order, and you have stability in your life. For her, her is saying you are being guided to the, to the spiritual teacher within and without. This is the card of the inner guide, the inner voice, and inner hearing. But it also points to outer guidance. Have you been ignoring or suppressing your inner voice? Is guidance coming to you from an outer structure that you are not at ease with? On, on one level, this card is asking you to awaken the voice of your higher self. On another level, it is asking you to examine your relationship with outer power structures, especially related to religion. It is pointing to dormant knowledge within you and the potential for you for you to not only access it but also to partake to impart it ask yourself are you the teacher or are you the student scorpio so this is guidance so again maybe some of you are a spiritual teacher So Spirit is asking us, what is your relationship with religious power structure? How do traditions and conventions feel? 
your affirmation i open myself up to receive spiritual guidance from inside and from outside so you are open to spirit and i can see you know it looks like a musical so this is like you meditating probably manifesting you're coming in into one with the divine so you're stable you're at peace you're at one with god and we will look at ashlon ashlon number six or the ash one it's also called the lovers when this card appears you are being guided to examine the role of love in your life this can be human love divine love or love for yourself this card usually appears in connection with relationships and choices if you are at a crossroads let your heart let your heart be your guide the ash one asks you to choose love over lower reactive fear-based emotions to create conscious connections and to bring together what may appear to be opposing forces or qualities in yourself or in your partner remember the key to healthy outer love is love for yourself spirit is saying if you're at a crossroad let your heart be your guide choose love over low vibration or fear-based emotions so sometimes we ourselves can block out love from our life because we are not open open to this affirmation i embrace and balance the love the lover and the beloved within me remember the key to healthy outer love is to love oneself that's beautiful so you're coming into harmony from what i can see here you're coming into harmony with yourself as a leader an emperor somebody who is financially stable you're also coming in or you're more connected or you're embracing your spirituality also you're releasing fear you're not embracing fear by thinking in a low vibrational way you're putting love first and you're first learning to love yourself scorpio so this is beautiful so whether it's in the world in the spiritual or your personal life whether it's in business your spirituality or your love life you're connecting the dots you are becoming more financially stable grounded also grounded in your spirituality see all all of them everybody's sitting you're grounded you're stable you're coming to the realization of who you are that you can have it all you can have it all you can have it all see sometimes in the religious arena you know we are meant to feel bad or feel guilty if if people have money if they are rich and they are a christian or if they are rich and they have spirituality people think that because you are you are spiritual you should be walking around barefoot riding you know a camel or a donkey when no we're supposed to live in abundance that is our birthright and this is why we're getting into that place now where the wealth of the wicked you know it's laid up for those who are righteous the wealth the wealth 
Oh my. These two cards fell out to clarify the Sultan or the Emperor. Nine of coins to a ten of coins, Scorpio. You are abundant, independent, whether you are a single man, single woman, whether you are a married man, married woman, if you have your family, you are stable. You are wealthy. You are abundant. These cards are beautiful. You are leaving a legacy for your generation to come. Look at that. Look how beautiful. See? This is like the young couple. That's like the grandfather up there. You know, you're able to live to see your children get old. To be able to pass this generation down to your family fruits are <laughs> money's falling from the tree because you put the work in this is why you can now sit and look good look pretty because now this is the fruits of your labor wow that's beautiful spirit that's the purr Again, the Eight of Coin. You have mastered your craft. You have mastered your craft. You work hard day in and day out for what you need, for what you have, for what you want. I mean, that, this looks like spirit over here playing music dancing away well you know you're so focused you have spirit with you you were alone some people would say you were alone in the gym shooting you know nobody was with you but now people see your glory but they don't know your story you put the time in you put the time in to transform because you wanted this change. You wanted this change. That's beautiful. Hmm. One more for her spirit. You mastered it all, Scorpio. Hmm. This is beautiful. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And if you are not here, just know that this is what's waiting. The sun, sun of staff. And with this one, these are like extras that's, that's in the book. And I will, the sun of staff is somebody who is exciting. You're fearless. You're energetic. You're a risk taker. You're not afraid of following your passion. This is who you are, Scorpio. You are not afraid. You are not afraid to step out. And this is why you have all of this success. This is why you have all of this success. Wow. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have Malika. Malika of staff, very confident, passionate, independent, very determined, upbeat, energetic, you are brave. You are taking your power back. You're not sleeping on yourself anymore. You're taking your power back. Wow. This is beautiful, Scorpio. You're taking your power back. And at the bottom, below that, we have the Sha, Sha of Coins, Sha of Coins. You're very generous, so you made it, you made it. This is why you're able to give back. You have financial success, you're very grounded, very stable, you're hardworking, you're mature. 
you're abundant, you're a leader, you manifested all of this. You're a great manifester. See? All but leads back. Same characteristics as the emperor. And here we have six of coins. Again. Be why? Because you have so much wealth that you're not afraid to give. You give back. You share to other people. That's beautiful. Wow. That's beautiful, Scorpio. You learn the art of manifestation, giving and receiving, generosity, support, valued. You're financially responsible. Your heart is open as well. You give back. And why is this? Because you walked away from foolishness. You walked away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. The Eight of Cups. You did put an end into things that were not bringing you any fulfillment. Because you know you deserve this. Greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world. In the past, you were hoarding, penny pinching. You were living in scarcity. You were living in lack in the past. Not anymore. Not anymore. You're four of staff. You have, you have no stability. Maybe some of you, you're moving into your house. Maybe some of you are getting married. This is beautiful. You're contented here. That's beautiful. Celebration. Because you sown the seed and you sit back and you're just watching it grow. Watching it. It's like waiting on your ships to come in. This is beautiful, Scorpio. I love this for you. I love this for you. You did the work. You did the work. And that's what happened when we surrender. We surrender everything to spirit. Yes, you can have it all. You can have money, power. You can have faith, your spirituality. You can have love. If you are in, not in a relationship, you love yourself. You pour that love into yourself, self-love. And, so, and so you learn to partner with yourself. You bring your masculine and your feminine together. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, we have the daughter of cups. Somebody who is sensitive, you're very intuitive. You follow your intuition as well. Childlike innocence, you're romantic at heart. Scorpio, you love love. Whether you choose to be in a relationship or not. And again, this may not uh, vibrate or re um, resonate with everybody. Because of course, you have to do the work in order to come into this so for those of you who have not yet started the journey this i'm telling you the, this is a, a guide to let you know that if it's okay the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and all other things will be added unto us Seek him first. Because when you seek God first, you are humble. So even if you come into wealth and power, that does not get to you because you know that it is God who has given you the power to gain wealth. So yes, you can 
be a spiritual person and be stable financially have the happy life whether you choose to be married or in a partnership or not even if you're by yourself you're stable financially but you know you're gonna have to put the work in you're gonna have to turn up that fire in your belly and so for the persons or people or Scorpio scorpions who are living like this today we know how you got there that's because you were not afraid to do the work when you got that word because you're very intuitive that seed was planted in you okay so see now these seeds become these seeds become coins see they say money don't fall from tree right but here we see you put the work in then you know something can come back from it because here here see this guy here leaning on the tree planting the tree watching it come in every day pruning watching it blossom and now this is return on your investment that's beautiful i love that so get that fire in your belly scorpio if you're not there yet and for those of you who are at this place in your life congratulations you did the work you did the dang thing and now this is why you're abundant in every area of your life because you did the work you surrendered all to spirit and this is your just reward this is this is just beautiful this is beautiful thank you scorpio if this message resonates with you please subscribe i would love to hear from you in the comment section give the videos a thumbs up and share until next time take care